Hello, I'm Donna Robertson, Head of Training and Chief Podorthus for Foot Solutions, a foot wellness retailer specializing in supportive footwear and custom crafted orthotic insoles. Today I want to discuss with you the underlying cause of many foot ailments that begin with overpronation. Feet are supposed to pronate, roll inward as a part of every step you take. This aids in adjusting or allowing the foot to accommodate to various terrain such as stepping on sand, rocks, or various obstacles without injury. Rolling inward is called pronation, which is a normal function of the foot during gait. When your feet roll inward excessively, overpronation problems often arise. Note that sometimes people who overpronate are told they have flat feet. The term flat feet can be misleading. When standing, body weight can cause the arch of most feet to flatten out somewhat. This does not mean they become flat like, ban like pancakes, which some do. Instead, the arch shape elongates flatter and the arch height becomes lower. When the feet are too flexible and they bear the full weight of the body, as in standing, walking or running, they stretch too much causing the feet and the ankles will roll inward. People who have high, medium and low arches all have the potential of overpronation leading to dysfunction, overuse and painful symptoms. It is not the height of the arch that determines overpronation, it's the amount of flexibility or instability in the feet. Overpronation is a result of too much flexibility that is crit of critical joint structures, ligament laxity, and loss of muscle strength in the feet. There are lots of reasons for this including heredity, obesity, pregnancy, and the repetitive pounding of the feet on the hard flat surfaces of modern life. If you overpronate, you may at some point in your life experience heel and arch pain metatarsalgia, plantar fasciitis, heel and bone spurs, bunions, hammer toes, neuroma, hallux rigidus, sesamoiditis, Achilles tendonitis, and post hip tendonitis. In addition, excessive pronation leads to a loss of joint stability, muscular strength, and postural balance, creating abnormal biomechanics during gait and then causing bodily issues such as back and joint pain. The feet act as a spring, propelling the body forward with each step. If the step is not, or the spring is not working, the propelling force must come from the knees, the hip, or the low back. Because these areas are not designed to function in this manner, the deterioration in the chronic pain cycle will continue until something is done to support and control excessive or overpronation of the foot and ankle. It goes without saying that overpronation is an issue you should correct before it starts causing problems. How to solve for overpronation and how foot solutions can help are questions we will tackle in the following up videos. To learn more or to schedule a visit with our in-store podorthus, visit www.footsolutions.com. Your feet are the foundation of your health. Let us take care of them for you.